before we go to solving area of a regular polygon, let's differentiate first perimeter from area. Perimeter would be the distance around the given shape. So in this case, if you want to get the perimeter of a given rectangle, we just have to add the length of all its sides. However, when we say area, that would be the space occupied inside the given two-dimensional figure. Generally, to get the area, we just have to multiply the base of that figure to its height. So for this rectangle, that would be 5 times 2 or 10 square units. But what do we mean by that 10 square units? To figure this out, let's transfer that given rectangle to this grid. So here, we have 2 units for the height of the given rectangle, and we have 5 units for its base. Note that if the given unit would be meters, this would be 10 square meters. So where would that 10 square meters be? Knowing that area would be the space inside the given shape, literally that would be the 10 squares inside this given rectangle. Notice that whenever we want to get the area of a given shape, we'd be needing two things. That would be the base and the height. In this video, we would just need one thing, and that would be the perimeter. But careful though, the algorithm that we'll be discussing in this video would only work for regular polygon. Let's have this example. See, the given perimeter of a square would be 12 units. So the 12 unit line here will be used to make a square. Thus, this 12 units here will be divided by 4, knowing that square has 4 sides. Consequently, we now have 3 units as the length of each side. So here, each side of this square will have 3 units as its length. So for the benefit of others, if you want to get the length of each side of a regular polygon with a given perimeter, you just have to divide the perimeter by the number of sides. Once we know the length of each side of a regular polygon through the use of perimeter, we can now proceed to solving of the apothem. So for visual learners, let's have the labels. We also know the length of the side of this polygon, that would be S in this case. We have to divide perimeter, that's P, by the number of sides, which is N. With what we had earlier, that would be 12 divided by 4, knowing that the perimeter would be 12 units, and square has 4 sides. And yes, giving us now 3 units as the length of each side, or that is, our letter S. Now we're ready to get the apothem, and this would be the formula. Note that the pi here would be equivalent to 180, alright? Please do not use the pi in your calculator. For the benefit of others, let's have some colors. Now, with s equals 3, we now have 3 over 2, 
and pi to be equivalent to 180, this would be tangent 180 times n, which is 4, minus 2, all over 2 times n, or 4. I have a separate video that discusses the process in solving this complex fraction. Just click the eye icon there at the upper right corner of your screen to be redirected to that video. Heads up, that would be a raw video, so I do apologize if the volume of my voice wouldn't be that good, okay? But the good thing about that raw video is that I'd be discussing the process of solving this fraction in three different types of calculators. So if your calculator doesn't have a fraction format just like this, you better watch that video. With the solved apothem through the use of the given perimeter, we can now solve for the area. And its formula would be 1 half SAN, or that would be the product of the length of each side, apothem, and the number of sides. And since 1 half is the same thing as 0.5, we now have this. Want to check if our answer is correct? Notice that the formula in getting the area of a square would be the square of s. In this case, our s is 3, and so a is equal to square of s, which is 9. This formula is really useful if you don't know the formula in getting the area of a given regular polygon. So this time, would you be able to answer this? That is, with a given perimeter of 12 units, would you be able to get the area of an equilateral triangle? How about the area of a regular pentagon with the same perimeter? 